In this video, I'm going to teach you how to calculate percentages by using Microsoft Excel. And specifically, I'll split this tutorial into two parts. In the first section, I'll show you how to calculate the percentage difference or change between two numbers. And in the second part, I will show you how to calculate the percentage of a total value. As always, please drop a like to this video if you find it useful and leave me a comment if you get stuck or if you just want to say thanks. Now let's jump into Excel. For the first part, let's say I own a company and in the year 2018, my company generated $98,568 in profit. The year after in 2019, my company generated a bit more in profit, but in 2020, my company only made $58,867. Now as a company owner, I'm interested in calculating the percentage change in profits between 2018 to 2019 and 2019 to 2020. So let me quickly go over the formula used to calculate the percentage change before we actually go ahead and do this in Excel. To calculate percentage change of two numbers, you firstly take the final value you are interested in and subtract the initial value you had. This will work out the difference between the two numbers. Then you divide this answer by the initial value you had. And finally, you multiply that answer by 100 to convert it into a percentage value. Don't worry if it seems confusing. We're now gonna go ahead and do it in Excel with some example data. So to start with, I will calculate the percentage change between the years 2018 and 2019. And to do this, I'll firstly click on an empty cell and type in equals, open bracket, then I'll click on the cell containing the final value. In this case, I will select the profit I made in 2019. Then I will subtract the cell containing the initial value, which in this case is the cell for the 2018 profits, and I will close the bracket. I will then divide this by the cell containing the initial value, which again is the 2018 profits. And I'll multiply all of this answer by 100 to convert it into a percentage and press enter. So you'll see the answer I have here is 20.59. So I can say that my profits in 2019 grew by 20.59% compared with the previous year. Now let's calculate the percentage change for the period of 2019 to 2020. And I will do this in a slightly different way. This first part is the same. So I'll click on an empty cell and enter equals, open bracket, and I will select the final value and subtract the initial value and close the bracket. And again, divide the answer by the initial value. But this time, instead of multiplying by 100 here, I'm going to hit enter to run the formula. And to convert the answer to a percentage, with the cell still selected, I will click on the percent style button at the top. Alternatively, you can press control, shift, and the percentage key on your keyboard as a shortcut. Now when you do this, Excel will change the format of the cell to a percentage by multiplying the value by 100 for you. And it will also add a percentage symbol too. So as you can see, my answer is negative 50%. In other words, my profits reduced by 50% between the years 2019 and 2020. So that's how you can calculate the percentage difference between two numbers in Excel. What about calculating the percentage of a total? Well, let me show you how. Let's keep our example of owning a business. And for this part, let's say we sold 154,622 items in the year 2019. Of those items, 34,656 items were sold to customers in Europe and 104,648 items were sold to customers in the US. What I want to do now is to calculate the results of these sales as a percentage. In other words, what percentage of the total sales came from Europe and what percentage of the total sales came from the US? Well, to calculate the percentage of a total, you need to divide the value you are interested in by the total value. And then you multiply that answer by 100 to get the percentage. So let's go ahead and do this for our example data in Excel. I will click on an empty cell and type in equals, open bracket, 
Then I'll select the cell containing the value I am interested in. In this case, it is the number of sales from Europe. Then I will divide this by the total value, which in this case will be the cell containing the total sales. I'll then close the bracket and multiply this answer by 100 and press enter to get the answer. The answer we get here is 22.41. So 22.41% of our total sales came from Europe. Now let's move on to the US data. But this time I will do things slightly different by using the percent style button as I used in the first example. So in the empty cell I will enter equals and I will select the value I am interested in which is the number of sales in the US. I'll then divide this by the total number of sales. Then I will hit enter. And now with the cell still selected I will press the percent style button to convert the answer to a percentage value and we end up with 68%. So 68% of our total sales came from the US. And that's it. Now you know how to calculate the percentage change between two numbers, and you also know how to calculate the percentage value of a total by using Microsoft Excel. If you found this video useful, please leave a like. It really does help support the channel. If you've got a question, pop it down in the comments below. Also, consider subscribing for more weekly tutorials.